Hi friends, this is Sophie at Stuti's Cuisine. Here I'm come outside my house. It's so wonderful. It's so beautiful. You know, the trees are just getting ready for spring and the leaves have yet to come out. But it's so nice, so refreshing. You can come out without a jacket. You know, that's the best part of it. I'm waiting for the flowers and the leaves to come out and today I'm going to show you all a very nice dish. It's a snack and it's called Dahi Bala, okay? And it's just like Dahi Wada, okay? So in North they say Dahi Bala, in the South they say Dahi Wada. And it's such a refreshing snack to have, especially during uh, spring and summer because the day is so cooling and the vada is so filling. So you have it with that, a little snack with a little punch with all the spices. Oh, it's so tasty. I hope you all are fine by God's grace. Thank you for all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you very much. Please continue spreading the news around sharing it and i need your valuable comments i'm just admiring this lovely weather the birds just singing to glory and chirping to glory and they're just getting used to the weather and such a wonderful sound to hear it's really so refreshing so soothing you know so you see you, can you hear the birds it's so wonderful okay but yeah yeah you see that? It's so good. So we we'll go inside and see my wonderful Daibala, okay? So here I am inside and this is my lovely Daibala. You see? It looks so colorful. And I'm sure it's very tasty and I love it, you know. I'm going to have this and I've kept the big ones for my husband because he also likes it, okay? And I'll show you how soft and how it is inside. You see? Wow. Here it is. It's, wow. I'm going to eat it. Mm. Too good, my dear. You must try this. It's fantastic. Mm. So, with all the flavors in it, the spices, it's so cooling, I tell you. Whoever has discovered this recipe, hats off to them. I'm floating in the cloud now. Fantastic. So, see that you all make this lovely recipe. It's a perfect snack anytime during the day. And you cannot go wrong in it. It's so easy. Just follow my steps. If I can do it, you all can do it, okay? Thank you for viewing my videos. And please continue doing it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you. And you all have a wonderful and blessed day. The ingredients for dahi bale or dahi vada. I've taken one cup of urad dal, one fourth cup of mong dal, I washed it thoroughly and soaked it in water for overnight. You can also soak it for a minimum of four to six hours in very light warm water. Green chilies and the ginger is half a teaspoon finely chopped. You need salt to taste, you need thick yogurt, okay? I'm going to grind both the urad dal and the mung dal, both the lentils, and I'll come back. You can either grind it fine or you can grind it slightly coarse. You can make dahi bale or dahi vada with only urad dal and also you can make it with a combination of urad and mung dal too. So the proportion you can take accordingly, you can also take half and half but I like the dahi bale to have more of the urad dal taste. So either you take it as a whole only urad dal or take a combination of urad dal and mung dal. One is to four. So if you're taking four of urad dal, you take one of mung dal. Today I've taken one of uh, urad dal and one fourth cup of mung dal. Okay, so now I'm going to grind it and I'll be back. 
So while you're grinding it, see that you sieve it and then grind it. Okay, so we are going to grind it with minimum water in it, uh, as minimum as you can, because we want it nice and thick, okay? So you see, this is how you have to grind it, okay? Maximum, you have to dry without any water. I'm going to transfer it here, and I'm going to grind the uh, moong dal in the smaller grinder, okay? Because it's only very little. So here, you see? Yeah. So here, I've put it in the smaller jar, and I'm going to grind it with minimum water. So I've not put any water. In this, I have put around two tablespoons of water when I was grinding. In this, let me see how I go about with. Okay. So here it is. I'm going to just mix it along. You can also grind it together. So I'm going to mix both of it. And we need to beat it around five to eight minutes to incorporate air into it. So you see, I'm, I'm going to beat it with this uh, beater. So you see now? So that's what we want. So my muscle power is not that good. So I thought this would be faster. And if you want to know, after it's mixed, you're going to take a little of it, okay? Just put it into a little water. See, it floats. So which means there's enough air in it. So you just have to take it out and put it back. Now mix the chilies and ginger. Okay. And just give it a mix in case when you all grind it and uh, you find that it's become more liquid so i'll give you a tip what you all can do that you get white breadcrumbs and you can just put a little in it one tablespoon or two tablespoon and it's going to make no difference it's going to be so good so here i'm putting a teaspoon of salt okay let's give it a stir let's taste and see whether there's enough salt yeah the ginger and the green chilies too. It's tasting really good. And you need a bowl of water. Here I have the oil on the fire. It's getting hot. And I have here a plain water, which I'm going to later soak the dahi bale in it. So I need to put some salt in it, maybe just half a teaspoon to three-fourth of a teaspoon. And little bit of asafoetida which gives a nice taste and we also put just a pinch of cumin powder let's give it a stir and let's get ready for it to to be soaked okay here the oil is nice and hot and this is my water i just wet my hands what i do is just take a little bit you can make the size you want but and this way and just put it okay put it on medium high okay don't put it on very high because the outside will get cooked and the inside will be raw you see automatically it just comes up you just have to turn it and wait for it to get cooked inside and out i've kept it on low now okay nice and golden Round this way. This time I'm going to make it a little more bigger with your hands. Take the ball and just go round. Okay, and just put it this way. Okay, just go around this way. Put it on medium high. So you have to adjust the heat once the the temperature of the oil is low. Just before putting it, it should be high and then uh just lower the heat so here you see it's well cooked irresistible i'm going to just taste it mm. it's nice and crunchy this is a bigger size so it should get cooked slowly in a low flame so that the inside is cooked just keep tossing it up and down Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to take it out. It's nice and golden. Drain it. And here it is. Okay, I'm going to complete the rest and I'll be back. If you want small ones, you just have to make it small. So you see it's all floating on the top and we'll wait for it to get cooked. So it's pretty thick yogurt. Okay. I'm going to just give it a nice mix. So this is what we want. Okay, taking out these mini bellas. Okay, now this is the water which I prepare and I'm going to soak this dahi bala into this. Okay. And we'll just wait for it for some time. It's these little ones too. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the dahi bala. I'm going to take the mini ones first, okay? So you're going to take it out from the water and just take it and squeeze whatever is there in it, okay? And then put it on the plate. You go, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Don't squeeze too much that it will break, okay? Here you see all the oil from the bala has been transferred into the water. Now here we see the change in the color in the bala when soaked. The darker ones which were fried and when you put it in the water how it becomes, how it gets soaked in the water and it becomes lighter, okay? So preparation, I'm going to take the yogurt, I'm going to spread it a little bit on the bottom. Yay! And I'm going to place my lovely ones on the top of the dahi. Okay? And then more of the dahi. Yay! And it's so good to have it during the summer season. Oh, it's so relishing. And this is one of my best menu items when I go to the hotel. I love it. Okay, so, and it's such a nice uh, uh, snack by itself, you know. It's so nutritious and you can just eat how much ever you want. We have the different spices which is going to give a punch to it. So, salt, put a sprinkle of salt, black pepper, some cumin powder. Doesn't it look so good? Oh my God. Put the chaat masala, which gives a real punch to it. Anardana, that is the pomegranate masala. See the wonderful color. The red chili powder for a little color and the taste. And then we are going to put the pomegranate seeds, okay? And that's it. Here you go. Doesn't that look so beautiful? So devouring? You can just dig into it and have it, okay?